Good morning, dear friends and colleagues. We are extremely delighted to announce Professor Dr. Oxel Ulrich, is that right? A pioneer and leader in targeted therapeutics as the winner of the CRRT International Cancer Research Prize for his outstanding and pioneering contributions to cancer research that has changed the lives of many around the world. Oxel Ulrich was born and brought up in Germany and had obtained his PhD in molecular genetics from the University of Heidelberg in 1975. He is currently working as Director, Department of Molecular Biology, Max Planck Institute of Biochemistry, Germany. In his long and illustrious career of nearly 40 years, Oxel has made numerous contributions, some of which I will highlight today. The cloning of cDNA, encoding the first signal transducing cell surface protein epidermal growth factor receptor EGFR published in a landmark paper in 1984 opened up a research field that is today known as signal transduction research. At the same time, this publication initiated a new era of the war against cancer. In subsequent years, Ulrich confirmed the existence of animal oncogene related human proto-oncogenes by cloning the human homologues of VFMS and VKIT and thereby at a very early stage, long before the field picked up this track, established cancer targets for therapy. Another important result of the elucidation of the EGFR sequence was the discovery by Ulrich and collaborators of an EGFR related gene, the HER2 or CRB2 encoding a putative receptor with an unknown ligand. HER2 turned out to be the human homologue of the oncogene NU that had been identified by the Weinberg group as the gene responsible for the development of neuroblastoma in newborn rats after treatment of the mothers with a chemical mutagen. With exceptional insight, Ulrich developed these key findings with great determination towards the ultimate goal of fighting human cancer with new weapons. In 1985, he initiated a collaboration with Dennis Slamon, an oncology at UCLA. Genomic analysis of primary breast tumors with Slamon using Ulrich's probe EGFR, HER2, EGF, PDGF, IGF1, IGF2, NGF led to the discovery that the gene encoding HER2 is amplified and overexpressed in 25% of all breast cancers and that HER2 amplification predicts rapid disease progression. Ulrich's laboratory then developed several monoclonal antibodies against HER2, two of which MAB4D5 and 2C4 were subsequently humanized and developed by GeneTech. Herceptin or Trastuzumab was approved by the FDA in 1998 and represents the first targeted therapeutic agent that was developed on the basis of a newly discovered gene with a previously unknown oncogenic function in human cancers. In the 1990s, after moving to the Max Planck Institute of Biochemistry, Oxel Ulrich discovered and functionally characterized the receptor tyrosine kinase, FLK1 slash VEGFR2, as an essential element of the process of tumor angiogenesis. He initiated another innovative strategy for cancer therapy. He demonstrated that blocking this receptor in a mouse brain tumor model resulted in significantly impaired tumor growth. This anti-angiogenic approach was subsequently brought to clinical application by Sugan Incorp, a biotech company co-founded by Ulrich with the development of SU5416, a small, molecular, small molecule inhibitor of the VEGFR2 kinase function. A derivative of SU5416, SU11248, SUTENT, I'm told you stand for Ulrich there eventually resulted from this development and was approved by the FDA for the treatment of kidney carcinoma and gastrointestinal stromal tumors. Basic research in Ulrich's laboratory also led to the characterization of several other medically relevant receptor proteins including PDGFR, CSFIR, IGF1R, SCFR, CKIT and tyrosine kinase. He has developed monoclonal antibodies against HER3, a co-signal transducer of EGFR and HER2, which is currently in phase one clinical trials. Like no other scientist, 
Oxel Ulrich has pioneered and championed the translation of genomics-based discoveries into novel approaches for the treatment of cancers. It is worth mentioning that Oxel was also the first to clone pre-pro-insulin that led to the development of the first gene technology-based therapeutic approach produced by GeneTech and Eli Lilly Corporation, Humulin, with two cancer therapeutics and one for the treatment of diabetes that have emerged from his scientific work and several promising translational programs under development, he is uniquely successful in the field of translational medical research worldwide. With more than 90,000 citations, he is one of the most frequently cited scientists in an extremely progress in an extremely progressive era of science over the past 35 years. His work is an exceptional triumph for biomedical research and has already proven its power to hundreds of thousands of patients suffering from cancer. CRRT takes enormous pride in congratulating Oxel for his enormous contributions to science and society. As a token of our appreciation, we would like to honor him with the CRRT International Cancer Research Prize. May I request Professor Bhaskar Ramamurthy, the director of IIT Madras, to confer the prize to Professor Ulrich.